And that's how I use EMAs. You know, I think of them as rubber bands. So price has to snap back, right, and consolidate. And the EMAs can kind of show you. You can use the EMAs as resistance and support levels as themselves because you can see they kind of bounce off the lines and, like, respect them as either support or resistance. Like here, we uh, sold off. Price pulled up to the 9. Here's that red candle that bounced off. And then it tries to test the 21, right? And then we break up. And then we reject right here at that 55. See that? Sell right off again. Boom, comes up, taps it again, taps it again. So these are good um, levels to have, right? 9, 21, 55 are the most important. But then I like to have the larger ones too to see more information. 100, 200, 300. Cool. So let's. You know, yeah, I think this might take me some time to. Well, this is all recorded. You can, you know, um, review it later. And obviously, we're going to keep doing more sessions. So don't even worry. Yeah. You get the hang of it. And one thing that I would really, uh, I don't know if we're there right now, uh, to be honest, mm -hmm. I want to know like a step-by-step -step guide.